Hello to everyone watching this footage. It's Leviathan here again, and to start things off, I'm going to introduce myself to newcomers. I'm born high-functioning autistic, I'm obsessed with fiction, and I'm planning to make my own creative universe like how the late Stan Lee did with his. For this particular footage, I'm going to expound on a character that I've introduced in previous footages, known as the Star Spangler. And there might be some miscellaneous stuff, so, and I apologize if there's anything that would feel like an interference, I'll try to keep this as satisfactory as possible. So if you guys bear with me, I will read the storyline here about the Star Spangler, and I hope you guys would be able to pay attention and such, it's all on you. And here it is. Star Spangler, number one, the beginning. Created and copyrighted by Levi Corsi Ames, July 25th, 2015. To begin the story, we start traveling to a Russian factory in 1942 and start observing the factory's inhuman creations. They were planning to create random organisms that would help them destroy the Axis powers. Unfortunately, a series of Japanese fighter planes arrived and bombed the factory with the only surviving creation being known as Project 217. This story is particularly about that creation. After the bombing, the manufactured child was transported to Washington, D.C., where she was adopted by a local mechanic named Bernie Samuels, who decided to name her Anna. Due to her unique DNA, Anna aged into her mid-twenties in just a few months. She has bright blue eyes, curly orange hair, and is dressed in mechanic clothes. One day, a band of Nazis invaded the town and killed her father. When Anna saw this careless murder, her rage ignited her powers for the first time, using them to destroy the nefarious soldiers. Realizing her true potential, Anna decided to help the United States with World War II, earning the name Star Spangler and becoming the inspiration for Rosie the Riveter. Meanwhile, the niece of Hitler, Valerie Riker, learned about the Star Spangler and decided to experiment on herself. While in a Nazi lab, she was bolted to a metal chair and received a series of radio radioactive syringes injected to each of her arms and both sides of her neck. When the cerebral torture was complete, she used her new powers and freed herself from the bolted chair. Thank you, gentlemen. From this day on, I shall be known as Valkyrie. We shall create a radioactive substance that will be able to kill the Star Spangler. After her death, we Nazis shall dominate the globe. Eventually, Valkyrie had an argument with her infamous uncle about her plan, and after the severe arguing, Valerie gave him a Melvin and flicked him into a concrete wall, killing him in the process. She then told her servants to discard his battered corpse, and stated that she's now in charge of the Axis powers, serving as their Fuhrer. When the Star Spangler learned about Val Valkyrie's rampage across Paris, she traveled to the battle zone and started arguing with her. You shall not destroy America, Valkyrie. There's no point for you Nazis to kill innocent people, Annie yelled at her with devoted might. Beg to differ, Spangler. You should have thought twice before you try to confront any of us. We shall take you all to Valhalla, no questions asked. And they immediately started fighting. After a time of hardcore combat and collateral damage, the Nazis misfired their radioactive weapon. Adolf X to Valkyrie instead of the Star Spangler. Sadly, Valkyrie became twice as powerful from the supposedly deadly chemical. After severe struggling with her genocidal foe, Anna punched Valkyrie to the Eiffel Tower and knocked her out cold. She then left the city before the U.S. airplanes blasted the currently evacuated city with a, with a devastating bomb killing Valkyrie in the process. 
Proud that the Allied forces have won, Anna received good praise from the American people until a random cloud of smoke made her vanish without a trace. By the present day, a pair of teenagers found a sleeping Star Spangler while walking down the beaches of Miami and called the local news. When a spoiled kid went to the unconscious hero and blared a blowhorn into her left ear, she woke and found that she'd been gone for multiple decades, far more time than she would normally intend. Later, Valkyrie was revealed to have the power of self-resurrection, and she came back to life and learned that her armies were destroyed. Even more outraged, Valkyrie will do anything to destroy both America and her eternal enemy, the Star Spangler. The End Well, guys, I... Hope this footage is satisfactory to you guys. I'm sorry for any interferences that might sound distracting. And sorry that I stumbled a bit. I just had a bit of personal fatigue due to my um, itinerary and such. And I'm trying to make it as satisfactory as possible on your guys' behalf. So, I just hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you want, you could like, subscribe, share, and... Comment down below. It's all your choice. And um, until next time, I'm Leviathan. I hope you guys have a fine time with this podcast. And hopefully it will succeed in the long run. And until next time, in transmission.